Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Thursday, February 29th. It is the 60th day of the year. There are 306 days left. Happy Leap Day, National Dayers! For a day that's celebrated only once every four years, with some mathematical exceptions, it sure seems to have a lot going on around it. Leap Year has devious explorers, beloved saints, partying border towns, and proposal-popping Irish ladies. And let's not forget all the birthday babies. They do have some making up to do on the celebrating, you know. Since the beginning of time, man has been improving the way we keep it. That applies to calendars as well. Early Egyptians had a leap year in their calendar, and the early Roman calendar had an entire leap month from time to time to keep the days in line with the astronomical year. It was Julius Caesar and an astronomer who revamped the Roman calendar, giving it 12 months with equally, almost, distributed days and adding a leap day every four years. Pope Gregory VIII in 1582 adjusted the calendar once again because the Earth revolves around the Sun once every 365.2421 days. One leap day every four years is just slightly too much. Instead of shortening the leap day, the Gregorian calendar is designed such that leap days only happen every four years, except years evenly divisible by 100, but not 400. There was not a leap day in 1900, and there will not be one in 2100. So a baby born on February 29th of 2096 will be in the third grade on his first birthday? And even this adjustment doesn't keep the days perfectly aligned with the seasons. Those humans who are still around in 10,000 years will have to address those issues. It's truly not a leap day concern. Whatever you do, be sure to make the most of your extra day. It only comes around once every four years. Today is also Digital Learning Day and National Toast Day. All right, National Dayers, today we're going to make a leap Frog, get it? Gather the following supplies. You'll need a mini terracotta pot, googly eyes, green paper, and then markers. And then you can use the markers or green paint, but you'll definitely need markers too. Glue and scissors. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take that little mini pot and you're going to color or paint it green. And I didn't have green paint, which is weird. I think I need to go to the store. So I ended up using a green marker, which took a long time, but it actually ended up looking cute, so it worked out. Now, take that pot and turn it upside down and trace the larger end of the pot onto the green paper. And then on the edge of that circle, you're gonna draw two frog feet and then cut the whole thing out. So cut out the circle and then include the frog feet and then cut out the rest of the circle. Now you're gonna glue that circle to the pot by putting glue all around the rim of the pot and sticking the feet to the pot. Using your googly eyes as a scale, you're gonna draw a heart around the two eyes with the bumps going around and then cut them. But instead of just cutting them in the shape of a heart with a point at the bottom, you're gonna actually make the sides go straight down. Then fold a little lip at the bottom because you're gonna use that little lip to glue it to the pot after you put the eyes on the top of the heart where the two bumps are. Then glue that little lip you folded to the top of the pot and you've almost got a frog. You just have to add a nose and a smile. And there you go. You've got a frog to remind you to leap through the day with a little extra bounce. All right, National Dayers, how amazing is it that this day only comes around once every four years and I get to celebrate it with you? I think it's pretty great too. I love our little frog here. I'm gonna give him to someone as a happy Leap Day gift. Not sure who yet, but if you're watching my show, I don't know. Now you know what I'm gonna give you. Shoot, I'll come up with a different gift. Keep smiling, National Dares. Have a thoughtful Thursday, and I will see you in four years on this date. But I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. 
Our shout outs today start us off with Miss Krista and Miss LaShawn and everyone in the ALC program at Lake Highlands High School in Dallas, Texas. Next up is Mrs. Muck, Mrs. Olson, Mrs. Olferts, the paraprofessionals, and everyone else in the Stride program at Owatonna High School in Owatonna, Minnesota. Next up is Ms. L and everyone in the Educational Life Skills Grades 6 through 8 program at Fremont Middle School in Mundelein, Illinois. And our fourth shout out today goes out to Mrs. Cola Simone and everyone in the Special Education LSC class at St. Benedict Catholic Secondary School in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Teachers, our shout out form is currently closed due to popularity, which is amazing. Thank you for watching and I will keep you posted when we're taking more shout out requests. And here it is, your updated super spectacular shout out map.